bath could be adjusted in height by pressing the button. So if we go up and down between 460 and 860 millimetres. 460 is chair height for chair transfer. And then the user will transfer through the side. It opens up like that. <clears throat> the white plastic, there's a set of mattresses that are a soft but supportive foam encased in a waterproof washable cover. And these go anywhere in the bath, but as standard, we would put them on that side, the fold side and the base to make a changing platform or a platform for transfer. If required, we can put the cushioning over other parts of the bath to make it a safe surface if uh, the user has involuntary movement. As well as the cushions, there's a range of removable supports. The concept is that we keep the bather secure whilst they're bathing. And if the bather feels safe, then it makes it easier for the carer and it makes it more relaxing for the person having the bath and so leads to a more enjoyable experience. The one particular standard accessory is the backrest, that's a reclined backrest, which means the user will be lying more flat in the bath, or there can be a more inclined backrest so the user sits in a more upright position. There's also <coughs> more removable supports, such as a knee wedge, and that enables the user to be, be uh, supported behind the legs and to stop them sliding down the bath. All the supports are always chosen by doing a, an assessment with the user so that the right combination can be, uh, can be determined for the, for the user. <clears throat> so once the person is transferred in, the side shuts. <clears throat> and the bath is raised to working height. Mm. Simple bath press on the bottom. The door can't be opened inadvertently because there's a, a double lock on here. The two handles have to be operated for the bath to open. So the bath is raised to the working height. The water is controlled by thermostatic mixer valves that restrict the water temperature to a maximum, uh, usually 43 degrees C, but we can set the maximum to 46 degrees C if required. For the bath fill, and there's an integral shower which can move up and down the bath and that is usually restricted to a temperature of 39 degrees C, although we can set it to 43 degrees C. So the bath can then be filled once the user is sat in it and secure, or if a track hoist, ceiling track hoist is being used, then the bather can be put into the water already filled at the right temperature. This particular model has an option of a whirlpool, which is a powerful set of jets that uh, are a water, is a water pump, four and a half horsepower water pump that propels the water around vigorously, or if you want, you can turn it down to be quite mild. There's a waste system <coughs> which, if you want the waste to be rapid evacuation, you can have twin waste, and these are operated by a pop up system. This one has a single waste. The <coughs> use of the unit as a changer can be demonstrated if we remove the support.
this can be put there. So you can get the idea that there's a nice enclosed changing table. There's always a slight angle here to stop any water that may may have accumulated from dripping over and all the water will always go down the, the plug there. The standard unit comes with uh, one backrest um, and then the rest of the, the accessories are chosen by assessment uh, and there will be a, a flexible waste hose and connecting hoses for the uh, for the bath so it just has to be connected up to the um, up to the main services. It's standard 230 volt electricity supply which has to be by a waterproof junction box close to the close to the bath itself. Race to a working height. Okay, that's again.